guys, we're watching Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. And if you want us to watch the finale, then get this video to 10,000 likes. Hey, this video was streamed live on Twitch.tv. <laughs> Click the link in the description. We're live right now. And mosey on down to that subscribe button and click it and click the bell and set it to all notifications. Nibiru is coming. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the dog. Oh, my favorite scene in the whole show. And they still killed the dog. That's the funniest part. Is the dog dead? I guess they did flatline. Bacon and butter, bread and croissant snack. <clears throat> is this supposed to be Paula Dean? Is this before the Paula Dean allegations? This is after the allegations, but like people just loved her cooking shows that much. They forgave her for putting those kids in the oven and baking them into cookies. <laughs> is that what she did? That's what Paula Dean did, famously. No. Oh my god! Why is he in a gimp outfit? No, not hell of a boss. Don't touch my Paula Deen! Danger, Kachinga! Oh my god, they're back! Oh my goodness, it all connects! When Rick Spartan sees Vor, he knows he's gotta be there. I see Vor, Kachinga. Let's go over there and for each other. You're looking at pictures of your ex. He's just looking at his like stash of like nudes that, that she sent him back when they were still dating. But this is so messed up. This is new nudes of your ex who you murdered. He murdered this woman. I don't know, man. This guy seems kind of strong. Does he have the Holy Spirit of Paula Dean inside of him? And that's where he got his strength. Oh my goodness. Shaggy and Scooby have to challenge him to an eat off. It'll devour the entire food supply and starve us all. It's gonna cause world hunger, a problem that already exists in our society? What? No, well, everybody in Crystal Grove is gonna starve to death, and they're already doing pretty bad because Shaggy and Scooby are destroying the food supply as is. Kachinga, make book plenty open. Hold, hold. KK. He just role plays like Kachinga is like a savage that he, he brings with him on his journeys. Why did you have to call him a savage, bro? Like, well, he's a fucking British man, so he. He is a savage. Tainting the bread supply in the 1780s that ultimately led to the French Revolution. He just said that this demon caused the French Revolution of 1780. What? Is I believe it. Coincidentally, he did not say where this demon was during the 1940s. I find that very suspicious. Also, why is this bullshitting? Not that I was looking. I was looking. Mom, mom, are you here? <gasps> oh, do you think the this Satan like gets like the abilities of every every person he he eats? So like he eats Fred and then he he's like has a knowledge of traps and then like he eats Velma and then she becomes like a lesbian or something. Yeah, yeah. And then he eats Mindy Kaling and he becomes really unfunny. He eats you and becomes like kind of sexy. And my mom? She's fine. She's fine as hell, Velma. You got a sexy ass mm. mother right there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy <laughs> if he said that. <laughs> Oh, they're getting fat, guys. D d I don't like this. I don't like the fat montage. Oh, oh my thumbnail! Oh! What? what is happening right now? What? That was actually fed. It showed them getting fat and then they kiss and belch. What the fuck did I just watch? Things gotten too big. Them being fat has fucking nothing to do with the episode so far. What's the fucking plan? They watch a couple Nick Avocados videos and like they just like the lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Shaggy ass crack though. I would sniff it. I'm gonna be dead ass with you. This is definitely like a thing. Someone had a lot of intent when they made this episode, when they pitched it. Super size to size. But like that guy has like muscle and these guys have just fat. There's no muscle there. This is like a bodybuilder versus like two Texans, basically. Now let's see who the gluten demon really is. Paula Dean. What? That doesn't even make any sense. How does she eat herself? I knew it was her. Remember I said it? I didn't say it. I didn't know who was her. Oh, y'all, it is so simple. How the fuck was she, like, lifting up a 600-pound Shaggy? Since when is Paula Dean this strong? Yeah, why is she so strong? I can explain why she's so fat, but why is she so strong? Like, the fat part clearly makes sense. Tercero llave. It's the third key. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, what does the fat woman have to do with this, though? What does Paula Dean? How does Paula Dean relate to the greater overarching mystery? Because Paula Dean was there when all of the indigenous people were killed. She was cheering in the background. Someone in all caps in chat. 
This fat fetish episode is part of the lore? <laughs> <laughs> you literally can't skip this episode. You cannot skip it. It is essential to the plot. And you're out of the group. What? He had like microorganisms inside of Ricky? I put mutated cobra larvae in your spine. What? What? Mutated cobra larva? What? The fuck? This doesn't look like the Crystal Co. from the brochure. This is the family that keeps getting fucked over. This family can't catch a break. Look how pissed the kid is. Man! A giant man! A giant man! No, my greatest fear. A slightly above average sized human being. Oh shit. Even worse, it's a fucking cosplayer. This is a robbery. The villain in this episode is just robbing them. <laughs> they could have just like run him over though. They were still in the car. You want to know how I am? Quite so. He's gonna miss your steal your girl. He's really robbing them of everything. Oh my. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? But would you care to accompany me? Me? Your daughter, your daughter, your fucking <laughs> daughter. Hello? This is the worst person ever. <laughs> what? You're just abandoning your child? What? The villain of this episode is literally the Rizzler. God damn it, he's so cool. Nova's still alive. Wait, I thought she was dead. They're pouring, they, they're drinking wine. They poured wine. Okay, we know we this relationship is weird because Scooby is drinking out of a glass and she is drinking out of a dog bowl. <laughs> um, that shows the weirdness. No, of no, story. that's just like, that's just like some people can't use chopsticks. It's like the same kind of thing. It was a dream. It was a fucking dream. Why the fuck is this dog still alive? Oh, it's a dream. What? It's a dream. It's a dream and a dream. No! <laughs> a dream. What is happening? Pool boy. I know hiring him may have been a bit premature, but just look at him. Oh my, this is a trope. Wait, the Rizzler, that's the Rizzler. It's it, that's the. None of those annoying tourists to deal with like last time. Oh, like I always say, dear. This is, the, this is like sad, like. Jim Batty for real, for real though. This is what people are doing in the future once like the nuclear winter hits. This is what they do to go on vacation. He held his hand out to my nan and it was terrifying, I tell you. Oh, is he brainwashing them or something? Huck. He's not brainwashing them, he's just that cool. It's Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, Pete Davidson entered the series. Oh my god. It is such an honor to meet you, Mayor Nettle. Like, just jump this guy. He's not even holding his gun. There's like 20 people in this room. Everybody is getting cucked in this building right now. Jack, he has like Conqueror's hockey. Like, he gets put so hard that nobody else in the room can even move while he's getting put the cuckers hockey cuckers hockey <laughs> you want the dashing debonair rogue section right between the swarthy scoundrel and the exuberant imp brother's nerd emoji ass <laughs> he's in a library that's his fucking his job is to be a nerd emoji dude imagine getting paid to be a nerd emoji man Bro, this is literally like a Twin Peaks scene right now. This is literally like a Twin Peaks moment. This is literally the room in Twin Peaks with the really short guy. This is like, uh, this is like a total reference. That's crazy. Why is he busting it down sexually though? Yeah, well, maybe you better take a closer look at your beautiful women. <laughs> Whoa! Transphobic Velma, dude. You're beautiful women. They're not real. She's a turf. Velma is a turf. <laughs> Velma's a turf. Those aren't women, Fred. I play Hogwarts Legacy. Remember the Daph? Daphne? She was right here. What? The Riz is insane. <laughs> The Riz is supernatural, dude. He's just like abnormally good at getting pussy. Like that's, that's this is literally what happens when you like start watching Andrew Tate, though. Pool boy literally has nowhere to be and nothing to do. Dude gets pussy as the pirate and not as the pirate, though. Think I don't think that. it's the pool boy. The pool boy is a red herring, probably. There's nowhere one else it could be. Like there's literally no one else could be. Hot dog water. It's the librarian. I'm agreeing with it being the librarian. I guess that is the only other character in this episode so far. <laughs> he was on screen for like five seconds, but that feels like a logical twist. She's got an idea how to stop the dandy highwayman. And so do I. TNT? We're gonna fucking murder him. You steal my girl, I steal your fucking organs. Sorry, that's Miss Stinkly, and I'm not going anywhere. 
He's like, oh god, no, Velma, I don't want a nerd. I can't do this. Starts turning away. The librarian! I never get pussies. That's about it, quite frankly. All you have to do is pay attention to them when they're talking. Wait, what? Wait, he just learned how to talk to women. <laughs> As a part as a part of my evil master plan, I learned how to pay attention when women talk to me. When the going got tough, I had a little help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So he wasn't even actually listening to women. I this fuck this what the fuck just happened? Like if he if not for all the like crime, like the like robbing people at gunpoint, you know, he would have an amazing life. He just learned how to be good with women. That was literally the whole his whole life story. I am not Nova. I have only borrowed her body so that I may bring you an urgent message. What? It's happening. I am of the Anunnaki. Interdimensional beings that visit the planet Earth every few thousand years. What? <laughs> Interdimensional what? beings? It is aliens! It is aliens! But we have no physical form and must inhabit animals. Oh, so him and Pericles are Anunnaki. Is that like a Japanese word or something, Kor? What, is, what does Anunnaki mean? That's not Japanese. I don't know. Sounds pretty Japanese to me. The most evil one of all is imprisoned beneath Crystal Cove. Save yourself. Save your friends. Save the world. Save the world. Scooby-Doo versus the world. So there's like a canon explanation for why Scooby can talk. That's pretty funny. The neighbors have been calling in constantly with reports of unearthly moaning. Unearthly moaning. Do you think they walk around at night and just hear? <laughs> no, Michael, not there. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of fucked up. Holy shit! That was a fucked up. Holy shit, man. We're such soulmates. We're finishing each other's sentences. Come on, let's split up and look for clues. Oh my goodness, he's learning that they need to be a polycule. Wait a flipping second. This episode is called Man in the Mirror, and Fred is currently the man in the mirror. That's definitely special effects. Fred is using special effects to appear in said mirror. He is vain. He's looking at... Oh, oh, ah! It's 20 minutes past rendezvous time and still no Fred. They wait 20 minutes after rendezvous time to even think about getting him? And that's his soulmate. I mean, that's not that long. 20 that's minutes a is a long time to wait. Tricky carburetor, remember? Rightio. Okay, let's rollio. His famous phrase, let's rollio. Jordan Peele directed this one. Eating leads to crumbs. Crumbs lead to germs. Germs lead to sick days from work. It's like what they the took hell? the worst character out of the show. I mean, the best character, out, not the worst one, the best character. They made him the worst character. <sighs> what happened? Is he gonna go outside? Everybody else is gonna be different? There's so many skulls. This is pretty graphic, to be honest. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that no detail skeleton right next to the soup. I think he might skull. interact with it, maybe. Norbert, catch. You drive. Norbert. Norbert. That's not even his name. Close. I'm just listening to the baseball game. I love sports. <laughs> what? The, the introduction of supernatural elements is so weird, but also it kind of fits with the show. You eat them. What was that, Scoobert? Scoobert. He's in the Bert dimension because all of their names end with Bert. Bert and Ernie. This is the timeline if Bert didn't have his Ernie. Shaggy. Scooby. They get raptured or some shit. What the fuck? No, they left me it behind. Can't be, it can't be true. Daphne. God, is it real? God, is it real? Daphne? Fred, where have you been? Ah, I'd still hit. I'd still hit. Ah. Wood, 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 wood. I got more wood than Ben Shapiro walking out of Home Depot right now. Everyone aged quickly and one by one turned to dust until only I was left. So the disc sped up time? Everybody died of old age in like two weeks. I don't understand why you don't know where it is. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> oh my He's God. so mean. Got any smarts in there behind those eye goggles? That isn't Fred. How don't, th how don't they get it? Come on. It's got to be here somewhere. Keep searching. Yeah, she's got a wire. She's got a wire. Oh That's why he's listening god. to the headphones. You're right. Oh my god. I just remembered where I actually hid the disc. Wait, does Fred know that? I think Fred might know. Fred might know. Fred knows. This time for sure. He knows. Look at him. Look at his smug ass face. Gang, 
something is FF Tirado. Is it me? Or is Fred acting even stranger than usual? It's not you. It's not you. <laughs> Education board of Crystal Cove. They needed that to figure it what? out. What? What? You, you Wait, just tell. how? How you did they figure that tell. out, though? The skeletons. The skeletons. So that's why they were drawn, because they come to life. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, yeah. dude. Sometimes you forget how Chadley Fred is, and then you remember he jumped on a flying airplane in the last season. <laughs> this dude is a menace. The old abandoned factory, hippie. And hippie. hippie, bro. Why are you roasting my boy? We're headed straight for that wall. It's solid brick. Is it? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Oh, it's, it's a it movie a set. Stage. It's a sound stage. It's a it's movie mystery. set. It's mystery. How did you know? Two big ones. Two big ones. Your tits are not the same size. Daphne would never forget that our first date was at the Trap Expo. Trap Expo. Trap Expo. Yo, y'all trying to go to Trap Expo this year? You said jeepies. Daphne says jeepers. Velma says jinkies. Nobody says jeepies. Nobody says That's jeepies. That's just plain silly. <laughs> I figured Crystal Cove must be phony too. It could only be. Dude, that's how you know Fred's an atheist, though, because he didn't think he he doesn't believe in that superstitious bullshit. They're patent oh, well, pending. Shit said patent pending on the back. Okay. Is it Fred's fake par like Maybe Fred's it parents? Like Fred's parents? I think it's Fred's. It's parents. definitely Fred's parents. They because yeah, yeah. they have like movie actor like vibes. Wouldn't that have been crazy though if Fred f***ed his mom by accident? Yes, that would be crazy. Oh, that's why people were saying it was the incest episode. You finally figured out I'm an imposter. <laughs> He's an imposter, guys. We Why all do we all like that? Because right? he's the imposter. Careful, Fred, don't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't this where they did the first episode of Chainsaw Man or something? This is actually <laughs> better animated, though. This Not is so elaborate. Like, there's so much. There's so many pieces going I on in this. I feel like I'm watching two people co-op like a Mario game right <laughs> this now. This is awesome. They're playing It Takes Two right now, but they are fighting relentlessly the whole time. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, what yo! The yo! He beat his dad. Fuck you, man. Get me out of this. He's the fake. They're like identical. <laughs> no, they um, are. Listen to voice their voice. Actors. Listen <laughs> to their voice. On the hats. How do you feel about me? Well, I guess aside from traps and solving mysteries, um, er, my stomach's getting hurty. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just so adorable. That is, that is like the Aww. cutest moment in the entire show. That's that was really real cute. Day. You're one of the most heartless criminals Mystery Inc. has ever faced, aren't you, Dad? Ooh! It's not a mask, you imbecile. I had plastic surgery. What? what? That is so unnecessary. What? What the fuck? You did not have to permanently do all of that. changed his appearance for this. It was the genius mind of Professor Pericles that he made them get surgery to become hideous. Look at her; she's old now. Is it so brilliant? You cannot begin to fathom its true genius. Not really. I will destroy the one thing you care about most. Traps. He cares about traps more, Pericles. You have not been watching the show. No. <laughs> True. <laughs> Aww. Why didn't they just do that to start with, though? Like, just kidnap one of them? No, his parents were bait into luring them into the factory. You're not thinking 887D chests like Pericles. But right he now. did make them get, like... Permanently altering their face Didn't with he give plastic. A fuck stick. about these guys, Pericles. True. Like he probably family. just he did it because he wanted to troll them. To be honest. Your life is in danger. Why is the Nova voice actress kind of like? She has like a nice voice though, like high key, bro. Like, yeah, it's like a sexy voice for I, um, a sexy dog. You know, maybe Scooby was onto something. Oh no! Just what Dude, I you've had the stream like forty times. Like <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> he has found us. He's found us. Who is he? What is happening? Nibiru? Oh, the freak. The freak. That's the freak. I can see. Was that the sound of his brain shaking inside of his head? <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Beast fixed his vision. But I know in my head there must be some kind of logical explanation here that doesn't involve interdimensional aliens, real no. magic, or ancient curses. Um, there has got to be logic. This could be it. The moment. The moment. What is the moment? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he's just a contemporary artist. One more word out of you and yeah, and what? 
This guy seems very, like, logical for someone who's apparently gone crazy. Like, he, he's very well put together. A sitting room? What are you talking about? A world between worlds. A waiting room. A world what the between fuck? worlds. No, this is like the velvet room in Persona, dude. Find the monster's true identity, and it will be defeated. You guys aren't really buying any of this, are you? There is no such thing as real monsters. She's gonna create an atheism YouTube channel. Evil, he's evil. Doesn't look evil to me. He's even keeping track of the time, dude. A guy who keeps track of time can never be evil. True. Have you ever seen an evil guy with a watch? I don't think so. I don't know, man. The 9-11, they used the Casio watch in order to track time. And? Look. All the evil people from the Cassidy's not evil. Are there. Dude, the mayor is just pretending the, to stand still. He was literally a different shade than the rest of the characters. Papering candlesticks, Fred. <gasps> Like Fred's non-parental. Fred's, Fred's non-parental. <laughs> what you see are the best parts of all of us that have been trapped here in between worlds because of our association with the cursed treasure of Crystal Cove. Oh my god, that's why they're all weird. And so they, the, the treasure literally cursed them into being weird people. All the good parts of them have been locked in this like mid dimension. Because that nightmare freak is in here with us. I know who it is. It's hot dog water, hot dog water, hot dog water. If it's hot dog water, that would be insane. There's no way. I think we've said it's hot dog water to every single villain since hot this dog water's last where I'll appearance. I'll be surprised if it's hot dog water. This is the only one. Man walked into a Roadrunner cartoon. Oh, this is this is another one of the previous iterations of the Mystery Gang. Chinkies? The Darrow family? This is very interesting. I wasn't expecting, like, this turn, but it incorporates all of the previous mystery incorporated. Yeah, I love yeah. how interconnected everything in this show is. The Benevolent Lodge of Mystery. The Benevolent Lodge of Mystery, bro. They couldn't <laughs> pick a less, like, off-the-tongue name. Hey, the skunk. Yo, the mask on the skunk. That's cool. That's Loki. I like this one. Fee. <laughs> Yeah! Yo, they've got to devour these fucking tortillas. Dog. They're eating them whole? raw? They're just eating it straight? Motherfuckers eating the They're tortillas They're just eating raw. tortillas? Guys, I'm ready to wake up now. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up! And the monstrous freak found us! What if they do another send-up scene here? Scooby -dooby -dooby -dooby. Like the music comes in, yeah, they're running like around the, the hallways. Scooby -dooby -dooby. I love you. The tone of the scene just completely changes. He's got Velma. Quick, grab her! He's got Velma. It would be crazy to just ripped her in half and her guts went flying all over the place. You're me apart. Oh no. no! You're really gonna pull out a movie You're reference at this apart, point? Lisa. Like, come that on. That was funny though. It doesn't make sense. I want it to make sense. <laughs> I need it to make sense. Velma is having a breakdown right now. Sometimes you have to not think. Sometimes you have to feel your way. And oh, is that what they're telling us? What a... Strange ah! message for that. <laughs> he's the same dog? size as the dog. I, Hold I on a second. He's the dog. same size as the dog. That's not Lola. She's possessed by an interdimensional alien, remember? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's trapping time. It's, it's trapping trappin time. time. He yes! Said he said the thing. How are they? Oh, that was pretty easy. Hot dog water. Hot dog water. Oh my god. It's a conquistador. But why? La pura verdad, the truth is simple. Oh, I, I thought I was about to have to translate and then he started speaking English. If he said the whole thing in Spanish, that would have been crazy. We must pay for all the horrible atrocities we committed while in service to the entity. Oh, oh my god, the oh. devil of this world is Christopher Columbus. I can still hear their screaming. All this screaming. Oh my goodness, this is horrifying. So they're telling me that the Spanish conquistadors only killed the natives because the freak told them to. Oh. Oh, is this the original? Oh my god. The original Scooby Doo were indigenous! Which means the hunters of secrets. This the hunters so of secrets? What the, so what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? The hunters of secrets were the very first. They were the most pure. Yeah, except for all the human sacrifice that they practiced. They were very <laughs> pure, guys. The silence is deafening. Oh right my now. goodness. Oh, Cassidy. So they're going to talk to Cassidy. 
No, they're not. They don't care about Cassidy. Why are they, why haven't they addressed the Cassidy? Like Cassidy's dead, and they didn't they even have a reaction. A they didn't even have Cassidy. any reaction to seeing her body. You're a great dad, though. He was a great dad, though, even though he wasn't. I am going home. I am going home. Is everyone going back? I'm home. And I couldn't have done it without you meddling kids. Oh my goodness, he said the line. Yippee! He said the line. Yeah. Yeah. Applause. We've been manipulated by some evil entity. Is that the only reason we're together? <laughs> they're they're really fighting like predeterminism versus like agency. And <laughs> True. Right and if you guys want us to watch the end of this, give this video 10,000 likes and uh, go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash spill in the milk. Thank you, Ace and Hole, Alan, Alfredo, Arthur, Fargadar, Autumn, Black Man, Bob's Case, Crescent, Dan, Dan Tepic, Deton, Dead Man, Dusky, Dylan, Doggo, Duck, Elizabeth, Fat Pup, Trev, Heather, Helmoy, K99, Caitlin, Kamala, Carter, Kia, Kyla, Esses, Madison, Mario, Matthew, Michael, Delta, Kevin, J, Ryan, Sam, Sims, Warmer, Shemar, Adam, Trippy, Ducky, True, Whitavers, Yathog, Angel, Texan, Atomic, Ava, Black Knight, Link, Bunny, Corgi, Daniel, Daniel, Hyena, Forrest, Jake, Chrisito, King Red, Marquisel, Matthew, Netlet, Quinton, Are the Mercy for Sean, Reverted, Stellar, Sully, Tech, Tyson. Thanks.